So the fix is relatively simple. You're going to want to uninstall your G hub. You're going to want to click on the Reddit post down below in the description box, click on this link and go back to version 2020.10.6293. And then you're going to want to go to the G hub settings cogwheel right here. And you're going to want to disable, enable automatic updates. And then when you click on your shit, you're actually going to be able to interact with it and see that it's not inactive. What a wonderful feeling that must be, being able to play with your gear, whatever it may be. That's it. That, that's the video. So I plugged in my steering wheel a while ago when I bought the wheel about a month ago, and once in a while it updates and everything's fine, and I play American Truck Simulator. And then yesterday I hadn't played the game in a couple of weeks, and it was unresponsive. I was like, what is going on? So I decided to load up the G-Hub and there was an update. And that's happened to me in the past before. If you're playing a game with a steering wheel or whatever it is, you're playing with your gear and it's just not working, just fire up the software. Sometimes there's an update pending and it's not quite doing the update and it's hanging your device from working properly. And then you're forced to follow through with the update, which nine times out of 10 usually works. But in my case, it froze and crashed my computer and I was unable to load G-Hub. I even reinstalled the, uh, the software here. This version, which is a naughty version, it's not a good one, 2021.3.5164. It just it wouldn't load and I would double click the G-Hub here and it just would not load. So anyhow, I went, downloaded this version, the 2020.6.5164. 58918.0 and I'll even just click on the link here just to show you that it's fine because this is my one and only computer I can't afford to have this being a virus this is how I make money on YouTube <laughs> so it takes a moment that's normal I might as well showcase that while I'm at it and that's it so it's just a glitchy software so it's like cyberpunk 2077 it's like that recent Marvel Avengers gaming update. They just don't test their shit before they release it. Everybody and their mother, sister's aunt's cousin is having an issue. Download anyways. I'll go ahead and replace the one in the bracket with the one. There you have it. I just downloaded it. Did it. I'll run it as an administrator, like that really matters, and it tells me that the software already exists. Open G-Hub to install updates. And that's it. I was actually starting to get some chest pains. That is how angry I was yesterday. So in Canadian dollars, I think I paid about $330 or something like that with taxes. It was a little bit on sale because it's normally closer to like $380 played it hardcore for a month, took a break for, you know, like a week or so. I come back to it. It's just not working properly. And it took me, by the way, this whole thing to try to figure it out and Googling through all the bullshit. It took me almost two hours. Two hours. I'm hoping in two minutes you're back up and running, except for if you actually watched my entire video which I don't recommend you do, but if you made it this far, it's too late. So I'm going to end it here. If you have any additional questions, I mean, feel free to ask. I can't claim that, you know, I know it all and that I'm going to be able to help, but yeah. Did I mention this? Yeah, you do want to uninstall the software. And that's it. I can't think of anything else. I think I've covered everything. All right. So if you liked the video, Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It greatly helps support the channel with the algorithm and making me just a little bit more relevant in the search results when people are trying to look things up on the internet. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down. And I'll uh, not only snap it off in your ass, I'll make sure the next time you hit a button, you go for a setting here, you click on something, it just uh, it electrocutes you. Plain and simple. Every time you touch the button, you get zapped. And if you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.